just kind of home of the B-52s and REM, widespread panic, drive-by truckers of Montreal. But it became so big internationally that it kind of put Athens, Georgia on the map. The Athens music scene grew in the early 1970s and later during the 1980s with the Georgia Theater and 40 Watt Club as bands REM and B-52s. B-52s and R.E.M. became by far the most famous musical products of, the of Athens in the 1980s when both bands launched a string of hits. 40 Watt is kind of famous for just kind of taking on up-and-coming things. Michael has been, you know, a strong supporter of Athens music since it started back in the 80s. Definitely helped to at least shed some light on what's going on here in Athens. Helped uh, spotlight the scene here. And um, all kinds of music, like for instance, B-52s was New Wave. And of Montreal is indie rock, widespread panic is more jam based, drive by truckers is Americana country. Athens in the 80s was known for kind of indie rock or college rock. You know, it's kind of the center of southern hip hop. So then, uh, you know, Georgia's kind of all over the map. You know, what little music industry presence there is in Athens, I think we've definitely been a part of that. Athens' the local country scene has never been as significant as a profusion of indie rock bands. However, modern Athens rock takes many elements from the folk, bluegrass, and country traditions. Country music has done, you know, very well. And I know, like, um, Little Big Town and uh, Sugar Land. A band called New Madrid that's doing pretty well. There's a band called Arbor Labor Union that just got signed to a record deal. And a group called Mothers. All those groups are doing. So people are definitely looking towards Georgia for the, for the bigger country things now. But it seems like every five to ten years you have something else that's that's doing quite well in the you know in the Georgia music scene. So I think there's going to be a lot more country coming out of Georgia. But you know who knows? I mean, maybe next year or the year after that, there could be more indie rock or you know uh, all kinds of music. <laughs>